Mecha Fan Beast and Noble Knights were supposedly getting support from the Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook page. A Facebook group, actually. Um, and so far, they're they're about half right right now. So this is Mecha Phantom Beast Raiten. It is a level 4 wind machine type effect monster with 1500 attack and 1500 defense points. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, it's a uh, it's, it's really good. It's it's, it's really it's a decent stat line. It's a decent stat line basically. Uh, the first it has three effects. The first effect is you could discard one card, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token, machine wind level three zero attack zero defense. Also for the rest of the turn you cannot use the monsters except other Mecha Phantom Beast mo other, other than Mecha Phantom Beast monsters as materials for fusions, synchros, exes, or links summons. So. Basically, if you have, if you're playing like playing this card as like an engine, you can't uh, you can't just use you have to use this card and the Mecha Phantom Beast tokens as materials. Uh, you you got it. You and, and you can't use tokens for for Xyz materials. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Um, I think I think I think this is specifically to target Synchros and Links to, in general because I think fusions are probably the most you know constrained archetype. Or a strain mechanic, and exceeds cannot be summoned with tokens. But that's neither here nor there. The, the second effect is if this card's level, this card's level increases to the t uh, by, by the total levels of all Mega Phantom Beast tokens you control. Now, I'm not sure if this is per Mega Phantom Beast monster or a token you control. So, let, let, let's say for example, you control one, it, it becomes level seven. Or if or if it's just, or if you control one, it becomes level five. If it's the second, if it's the first effect, if it's the first theory, then you can easily make Draco Sack pretty darn effectively if you just have two of these on the board. Um, that's pretty insane. Uh, the third effect is you, while you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. This is built into all the Mega Phantom monsters. Uh, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good effect. This is a pretty good monster. I think you're probably in the Mega Phantom deck. You might play. Two to three of this card because of the fact that it can generate tokens by itself by discarding cards, um, and uh, it, 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 it this one has the, the type of level manipulation that it, that is needed to make it really decent, and if it is by three levels or just one level, I think it's still either way really good. So, anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphos, and I'll be signing off.